Um, the next speech is going to be made by Mark Hannington, who's, oh, by the way, I didn't introduce myself, I'm one of John's brothers, I was hoping I wouldn't have to mention that, but it's, it's come out. The next speech is going to be made by Mark Hannington, um, who, to be honest, I don't know terribly well, but one of the exciting things about today is that not only is it two individuals joining together, but at the same time, it's two families. So, I'm very much looking forward to getting to know Fiona's family, and in particular, uh, Sophie and Theo, um, who, who are hiding over there, but um, I look forward to getting to know them better over time. Now, Mark's come all the way from Hawaii, and he's a maths teacher, and I hope that he doesn't tell a joke about the constipated mathematician. So here we go, we'll see. <laughs> Unlike everybody else, I have not written my uh, speech up. I'm going to make it up as I go along. No, I do, thank you. I do have an iPad, uh, but I'm playing a first-person shooter game on it. And if I stop now, I'm going to lose uh, all my weapons. And have to go back to... So I'm Mark Hannington. I'm the very proud father of the bride. I live in Hawaii which is an island in a land far away called America, <laughs> ruled over by the great white, part white father in Washington. <laughs> How cool is that to say nowadays? It's with great pleasure that I welcome John's parents, Paul and Caroline, his sibs, Ben, Tim and Susanna, his uncle Andrew, their assorted camp followers and relatives and um, all of his friends into our, this, new extended family, which in Hawaii we call Ohana. Now those of you who have seen the movie Lilo and Stitch know the term <laughs> Ohana. And, and I'm using that movie as my source for accuracy in using it. I'm not using something weak or lame like you know, Wikipedia. <laughs> What fun it is to be all together in Vancouver, whose new motto is Vancouver, where assembling in groups of three or more may be legally considered an absolute riot. <laughs> People often speak of the miles. Is my voice coming through properly? This one here. Okay. People often speak of the miles or the years that separate them one from another. Consider instead the distances that we have crossed in time and in space that have brought us all together here, now. I invite you to celebrate the oceans, the skies, the miles and the years that have brought us together to this celebration in a group of somewhat more than three. In particular, I welcome my new son, John. We have all of us been praying for many years now that someone with a little bit of class would join the family. <laughs> we ourselves lack it. But with our Canadian fondness for cheese curds fried in artificial gravy, for gambling away our pathetic fortunes on Lotto 649 tickets, and for our hopes of earning athletic scholarships in the area of hockey-based martial arts, this marriage brings at least some small pretense of respectability to an otherwise motley family. Thank you, John. <laughs> I've researched the marriages, and this one seems especially likely to succeed. Let me tell you why. The great American anthropologist and philosopher Rita Rudner famously declared, men with pierced ears are better prepared for marriage. They have experienced pain and bought jewelry. Well done there, John. I welcome especially young David and Iron Hannington Beasley and Mark. <laughs> On hearing of his birth, I respectfully approached a great Hawaiian kahuna and asked that he bless my new grandson with unique and meaningful Hawaiian name, as is the custom in Hawaii. After 17 long minutes of fasting and meditation, <laughs> and the smoking of two sacred Hawaiian cigarettes. 
The Karuna emerged from his Heiau, or temple, holding a coconut in one hand, his head in the other. <laughs> Looking skyward, he called across the mountains and over the ocean my grandson's new Hawaiian name, which is Pekane o Kekai o Apu Aha o Makai Hare Mao Mao no Ke o Lane o Homo Homo Noku Noku Apu Aa Talane a Mahalo Kokoa i Kaina i Kapona Aloha Nui Ro A. The translation of this very special Hawaiian name is He whose name is too long to fit onto a job application. <laughs> David and Iron, or Kekane Oke, yada yada yada, is the joy of his sister and brother, Sophie, whose name means wisdom, which seems beautifully appropriate, and Theo, whose name means Theo. <laughs> which would seem to indicate a lack of research on my part. <laughs> Let us greet, embrace, and toast Fiona and John, two children so committed to the sacred institute of marriage that they have each solemnly embraced it twice. <laughs> Second time is the charm, as Jesus himself declared at the unrecorded of the second wedding in Canaan. Adding, verily, sure, why not? <laughs> Antoine de Saint Exupery said of love, love does not consist in gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. At the risk of being thought presumptuous, not a new charge, I will modify Saint Exupery's thought to read this way Love does not consist in gazing at each other, but in looking outward together from one center. So to John, who brings us class and pierced ears. <laughs> to Fiona, who brings us beauty and that other thing. To, to the children, who bring us infectious diseases and those other things. We lift our glasses and we say, we wish you a lifetime of happiness and all those other things. <laughs> Mathematician. He worked his logs out with a pencil. But that's not my joke. That's not my joke. There's a lesbian, a dwarf, a Jew, a Muslim, and a Christian. And that's not my joke either. Okay, you're going to have to wait for the joke. Um, an announcement here the barbecue has been cancelled. Unfortunately, but fortunately, there's going to be a party at uh, Fiona and John's in Burnaby. So, um, somehow we'll get there, and that'll be at half past six, and we'll get there. There will be a barbecue too. Uh, there will be a barbecue there, yeah, indeed. Not a beach one. Is that okay? A forest one. A forest one. Um, there's a book of condolence. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a visitor's book, which would be great if people can sign. And also, I think there'll be a piece of paper, and anyone who's taken photos who might want to share them later, if they could jot down their email address and um, uh, a Flickr group or something might be set up. 